Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby, and if you hit on this video, you want to see me build my bathroom shelves. Before I dive into it, I just want to show you guys my last video. This is my burlap cabinet, and guess what? It's not in my house anymore. And that's because somebody bought it, and I'm so excited, so humbled that somebody actually appreciated my work and loved my work and wanted to buy it from me. And without you guys, it would ha not have happened. This is the wood that I'm going to be working with. It came with three feet by 38, oh uh, no, 36 inches um, tall. So what I wanted is my width to be my length. Well, not my width, my length to be 20 inches um, and my height to be 36. It already came in 36. So I wasn't, I'm not going to cut the height. All I want to do is cut the sides. So I'm cutting it down to where it is 20 inches. After that, I am drawing lines for the slats. So because it is 20 inches, it was very easy math for me. I would just have to divide it by two. Every, between every slats is two inches. Here is me showing you what it looks like. It looks pretty good, I think. So then it was time to cut the shelf pieces, right? And this is where I saved a ton of money. From my previous cabinet, I had saved up a lot of plywood that I didn't use. So this project, I saved a lot of money by saving using my plywood from the previous project. So really the only thing that I have to spend on was the metal pieces and the back sheet that I was cutting earlier. Right now I'm cutting 18 inch by 6 inch. This is where my tissue paper will sit on. And then I'm cutting 4 inches, 4 by 6 inches. Well, I thought 4 inches was enough, but then I realized, you know, 5 inches would look better. So I actually went back and cut six by five inches and those are the size and I have to cut six of them. I mean for it to make three shelves. Here is a very satisfying moment of me blow drying my table because I did not want to use my hands to do it. So enjoy this. And then we're back in business. So after I've cut all three of my shelves, I want to know where I want to put them and I want to know which sides matches bottom of the shelf. So what I'm doing now is I'm labeling them by the numbers one, two, and three. And just letting you guys see what it's like when there's a project in my house. Um, this is the patio that I work in. It's very small, but I make it work guys. But the thing is, everything is freaking dirty, right? All the sawdust you see. But yeah, this is my view and stuff. And then it is back to sanding. Unfortunately, my sander wants to be dumb and didn't want to work. Uh, my sandpaper just keeps, keeps popping off. So I have to do it manually. And this is not very hard because I don't have a lot of things to sand. It's not like I'm sending a whole cabinet. So this was pretty easy. All I need to do is use a wood block and wrap my sandpaper around it. This way it'll be easier for me to send. And after that, we move into sticking the shelves together, the both sides and the bottom. I am still using my Gorilla Goo without a brush. You should probably use a brush, but I really don't care. And then I clamp it down and I did this with three of my shelves. So I just went ahead and did a pilot hole and then drill my screw in it and make sure that I drill it flush with the wood. This way when I put my wood filler in, I would not really see my screw. And I did this for all three of my shelves. Then it was time to paint. I primed and then after that, I went with the black color. And then I let it dry and now 
this is where I want to walk you through how I made my shelves look like I had a, four, a 45 degree angle cut. See, I did not have a 45 angle cut. I made all my cuts 90 degrees. But here's a little trick. These things are called veneers. They're pieces of wood that are attached with glue. All you need to do is cut them down and iron them on and they will stick to the wood like it belonged on the wood. And they come in different sizes and colors too to match your wood. So I'm cutting 45 degrees to my veneer, measuring it right, and then using my iron to go over it to make it sticky, then make sure that everything is flush from the inside. That way, when I turn it over, I can cut from the outside, right? And I did the same thing to all three sides of my shelves. And now you see it looks like a 90 degree cut. It looks just better. And this is where I got really frustrated trying to screw in my shelves. Um, they just will not line up properly. So here's a new thing that I am using. It's a stud finder. So thank goodness there was two studs right above my toilet that I could screw directly into. After I found my studs, it was time to screw it in. I had my basket to prop it up and I know where my stud is and then I went ahead and screwed my screw through the wood into the stud. And here it is. I am so proud of this project. It really took a toll on me and I have to say I am not the best at decorating stuff and that's one thing that I need to work on. Look, I literally have toilet papers and plants around my house to put on there. So I definitely need to step up my decoration game, but I hope you guys liked it. So there it is guys, that is my bathroom shelf. Um, it's sitting in my bathroom and it's looking pretty there, holding some toilet paper. So yeah, if you guys want to check out more videos, um, I will post, I'll try to post them every Sunday um, unless something comes up. But yeah, thank you so much for your love and support. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Oh my goodness. My first video, you guys, the 600 of you guys watch my video and I'm so, so, so humble. So f I felt so loved from you guys, by you guys. Um, yeah, go ahead and comment. Say hi to me again. I'm all the way in the United States. All my Malaysian friends say hi. Um, I haven't seen you guys in such a long time. So it would be really heartwarming to see, you know, you guys, you know, watching my video and just stop by and say hi. So yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.